Hello, hello, hello. And guess what? It's Saturday. Woohoo! All right. So, hopefully you're going to have a wonderful day, a great weekend ahead, right? So, let's see what we have in the area of money, relationship, career, and well-being. All right. So, let's give this a little whirl. And let's see what's in store. All right, let's see what shows up here. Whoa, what up? Hey, it's the weekend. We don't have any big deals happening. Well, hmm. So, something's up and I'm getting something that has to do with real estate. So, what's the deal with the real estate? So, I don't know if this has to do with the transaction or with mortgage issues but there is something tied with real estate and it's pretty bad. So I don't know if I'm behind on payments or if there was a real estate purchase that just went really, really south. But um, there is a group out there that's having or struggling with real estate issues. So um, in general, um, for the collective, I definitely want to go back to a theme that's been showing up for the two weeks now, and it has to do with making sure that you are taking care of yourself, taking care of your family, and preparing. Not that there's anything major going to happen, but you know what? If you can insulate yourself from any economical um, and inflations that are going to be happening, that's going to be good. And try and figure out how you can do some money management techniques, even if you have to see an accountant and, and be honest, you know, with your spending, whether it's the small little spending, uh, the, the going out, whatever it is. And, and it's not for you to buckle up, but it's kind of how would you be able to, to handle the inflation that is happening? Cause it is happening to all of us. So just prepare. Okay. Let's take a look at, because that money situation and this crisis, it's not on you, it's the overall. So, but you know, we consumers get, we pay. We pay at the tolls, we pay at the supermarkets, we pay at the gas stations. We end up paying for the big chaos that the governments do. So, and you know, at the end of the day, we're the ones that have to pay. So just prepare. Relationships. And we are a resilient bunch. The humans are. Yes, we are. Okay. Relationship. Okay. So interesting because... Um, the theme of this mortgage, meaning house, meaning death. interesting that there is a very similar reflection about uh, of the crisis that's happening with this real estate or house related issue. And it's it's I'm seeing it here that it's affecting in the relationship a little bit. So it's important for this conversation to take place about the the way that the the this relationship comes together as far as anything that joins you financially. So um, be upfront with your partner about your money plans, your financial plans, your future financial plans, your current debts. Have this conversation. It's a conversation that may not, you know, be something you want to have, and but it is one that any relationship that's going to well weather the future will need to have and being honest on how that is going to work for the relationship is important so that is a very important move and a very important conversation to have okay you're like oh you know i really want to enjoy my saturday i says hey i'm just the messenger so show me some love can you some love okay <laughs> so here we go let's shuffle this up again for career what were you talking about? It's Saturday. I don't want to go to work. What were you talking about? Well, then redesign your life. 
Now, I'm not the one that wants all those amazing things that you want. Hello? <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. Korea. You set those goals for you, so now come on. Let me be. I'm, I'm just here. There you go. Give it some time. Oh, oh, I didn't see that there were two cards. Ooh. So here we go. When it comes to career, I remember I was just saying those things you want and hey, you, well, some of you that are the collective that's going to go out there work or you're, you've got your own business, you know, you've got to stay on your game. You know, the way that you manage your business and if you treat things with that respect that is due and you know what, you, you'll have everything you want. But if you act like some, you know, high school kid that you don't want to do your homework and, and you know, like you, you've been troubled that you have to go to work, then there's, there's still a lot of growing to do. But when you assume your role and your authority in that position, and I'm, and I'm not saying here if you're an employee because you have authority in the job you're given and they trust you to do that job or whether you're the CEO of some big company, either way, come in, give more value than what you get paid and the world will come to you and you will have be able to command so much more and you will get respect. You will earn your own respect from yourself and you'll have a sense of pride and a new meaning for life. All right, let's look at career. Let's look at well-being. Let's look at well-being. Well-being. Okay, so looks like you're coming through a couple of things. I'm getting a little message here uh, that there is some of you with a, waiting for some medical reports. It's going to be a little bit in um, you getting what you needed to hear. But at the end of the day, you're also going to need to make a little effort. And, you know, um, there's some things that, you know, some news that you may not be ready for. But at the same time, focus on seeing yourself healthier. Focus on the things that you can do that can make you feel better. So this is a very uh, physical read. Um, this has to do with people that are the collective group that may be seeing a doctor for something. Um, they're, and, and for this collective group, you're waiting for a report. It is going to show something. There's going to be something else that you weren't expecting that's going to be revealed. The thing is, is that you can uh, overcome that by making some adjustments, not only to the way you think, but some adjustments physically as well. So pay attention to that. Don't let that uh, slide. All right. Let's see what the angels reveal. Yep, I am definitely going to be enjoying my day, hopefully doing some yard work. Authenticity. Okay, so we've got this one is in reverse. And this one is in reverse. Well... This is not in reverse, but it's it's one of those cards that you prefer to see it in reverse. Okay, authenticity. Trust that your real self, whom God created, divinity perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. How perfect is that? Trust that your real self has the strength to deal with the situation. And so it's with these two, um, definitely. So overall... Whatever is going on, my friend, be authentic. Trust that your real self can deal with the situation. God is there to inspire you. Stay close in your faith and you will get through this. So 
Wow, this has really been a very heavy week from Monday through Saturday. But you know what? Let's take this in and let's whoosh. And then let's use this weekend to put this aside. Let's refresh ourselves. Let's go. Let's go out and have some adventures in nature and refresh yourself and oof, from all this and get a new renewed attitude and a renewed vigor for moving forward. Okay, my friends. Well, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and enjoy your weekend.